welcome to incredible tiny homes in New... We're not in Newport yet, we're in Morristown. Morristown, Tennessee. What we've done, this is our... What are we gonna call, I, I like to call it a, uh, an old age, or a, the older look, it was an English cottage. And this is the thatch roof that we're putting on our home. I've been looking at this, doing this design for about two years now. I think I've told everybody about it. We've done Facebook and pictures and we've been leading up to this point. And uh, I'll introduce you to Nick. Nick is from Ender Reed. Are you ready? Hey, and he's come here. Solid. Yeah, he's a, you're a project manager. I'm the technical director of uh, the Ender Reed Thatch Company. And you're out of what city? Or, uh, Lake City, Florida. Lake City. Yes. He came here today to help us install this. We've never done it before, and, and they've never done it on a tiny home, I guess. No, no, we're excited for the opportunity, Randy, to be working with you guys on your tiny homes. You know, we do a lot of project internationally, large-scale commercial projects. Uh, you know, we do residential proje uh, projects also. But um, this is an exciting thing for us to be able to be featured on a, on a tiny home. Oh, yeah. You know, because it's a, it's a neat, uh, very trendy um John, you're right now. Yeah, tiny homes. You know, yep. All people are talking about them. So, and in at our business, we do everything custom. Yeah. And I like to have an imagination and do stuff as you've seen. You've been around and see all of our homes. Yep. And this is just a part of what we we did. Now, what I wanted to do is add this and make it look like an Eng English cottage. And he's got all kinds of different reeds and raw, you know, different type of thatch. Correct. Yeah. 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 We have. Uh, all the different styles of thatch from the English cottage like you see here to the African reed style to the South, uh, South American um, palm thatch to um, South Pacific, you know, Hawaiian style. Uh, uh, the Kona. Like the Kona style, which is like a peely grass. Um, and we have, you know, products that cover really all the different price ranges too. Um, what you're looking at here is our regions line, which is our, our top of the line uh, synthetic thatch uh, offering. And as you can see here, it, uh, it's representing a very unique style uh, of the of the storybook we call it storybook a lot of times okay yeah. storybook style yeah um, as you see like you know a lot of the w very whimsical um, kind of artistic renditions of, of you know bygone yeah. eras yeah. you know people bring that back and they use you know here's a good example of it and wow. uh, you know we offer our products um, to the market with a 20-year warranty all of our products are rated up to uh, category 5 hurricanes um, class A fire rated, which is an important thing, um, and our systems are 100% uh, um, Florida product approved. Um, you know, we, we're not approved in any other states currently, but Florida is the one that everybody. Well, the um, codes are so high. The, the codes are the, are the most strict in Florida, and pretty much every other everybody else recognizes yeah. the Florida product approval. But our products are all Florida product approved to be installed um, as specified in throughout Miami-Dade County. Throughout the state of Florida, and we, wow. we install projects all over the world. Yeah, you know, we install. We got projects to one right now in, in uh, you know, Hong Kong, China, down in the Caribbean, Mexico, places like that. Wow. And so, uh, but uh, just you know, just for the viewers out there, I, we get a lot of questions when they see our product. They see a picture of our product, and you can kind of see here on the roof here. You look at this, and people mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times have questions on how how do you achieve this look? And uh, what we have today here, which is which is really exciting to show you, is we have the roof. Um, about three quarters of the way done. So you can see over here how it begins and then what the final product is. Because a lot of people look at the roof and the first question they ask is how do you get it so thick? You know? Right. And that's ob obviously, that's that the That was the my look. question when I... Yeah, that's the look we're going for yeah. is, is, you know, the thickness of that. But if you can look over here to this gable, you can see that the framing is done and it's been wrapped with the underlayment. We have a specified underlayment that we use as part of our system. And you can see there, from this uh, example here to the finished product over here, you get an idea of how this works. Yeah. It's a lot of the shaping is done in the framing, and the thatch is a cladding. If you can see right here on the on the roof deck there, you can get an idea. It's just a it's in a shingle form, and it goes on to the underlayment. And so you can see there how the shingles are. I got I actually have a shingle here that I can show you, just give you an idea um, of. You know of of what the shingle is. This, this is one of our our region series uh, shingles. This is class A fire rail, like we talked about, stain bound in 304 stainless steel. Uh, and me and Randy were doing a tug of war test on you know the reeds, and he was quite surprised at how how robust the uh, the binders. Well, they won't is. pull out. What it does, it comes up, loops back, goes down. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bound it's in pinched. there. It's pinched together, and there's a there's a binding strip inside there too. There's two layers, so it's 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 a uh, pretty. Yeah. This this is a patented system. Well, you know, sure. we, we have a patent on this, and yeah. so 
you know, no one else can. And the color is all the way through this. Correct. So, so you know, a lot of, uh, we'll use vinyl siding as an example. Vinyl siding is made out of PVC, but the actual uh, very thin um, layer of the good PVC, mm -hmm. there's a very thin layer of it, it's what we call co-extrusion, where the, the structural part is made out of very cheap material. The top layer that's, you know, meant to, uh, you know, for UV and for color stability, that's done out of what they call cap stock. Gotcha. That's, the, that's, the, that's the, uh, the commercial term for the grade of plastic they use for the top layer, the, you know, the business yeah. side of, the, of yeah. the... what of we the, see. Yeah. So this product here is made out of solid PVC, but this actually is made out of what they commercially call cap stock. It's solid cap the stock. The whole thing is The whole thing. So it's wow. not like you've got the, you know, it's not just top coated with the good stuff and the core of it's made out of some filler material. Yeah. It's solid cap stock. I know we're getting a little bit techy on the details there, That's but fine. You, know, you, That's you, fine. you asked about it. Yep. Uh, and I, you know, I know other customers might ask the same thing, but yep. uh, you, know, you can see some of the components. If you look at the, how the roof is structured, you can see the little uh, uh, the piece that's making up the thick edge detail. Like That's something, right yeah, people have a lot of questions about that piece. And it's just screwed right on the bottom, and he cuts it with a saw and yeah. can just pass yeah, it. Here's, a, here's, a, here's actually a cut piece of it. It's just a, it's a block with the reeds bound, you know, bound into it. And we use that to, 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 to make up the uh, the, eave, the thick and eave detail. You can um, see how they're in here. Yeah, this is a cut section. This is just a scrap we had left over from. Uh, they go down, they go loop back up, and then they're stapled in yep. inside here, done all mechanically. Yeah, and we, and we of course have all the different styles of fashion. You know, we can, you, I know we talked today about another customer of yours that wants to do something that's Hawaiian themed. Right. And so we have all the different thatches to cover. All the different thatch themes that we know exist, you know, all around the world, they use natural products to, you know, cover the roofs. The, the Africans use an African reed, um, a water reed. Um, you know, down in the Caribbean, they use palm. The actual, you know, they cut the palm mm -hmm. branches off the palm trees, and so we have palm thatch. And like we talked about for the, uh, for the, excuse me, for the Hawaiian style, they use the peely grass, um, and we have one that represents that. So you know, we've, you know, have a collection of thatches that cover pretty much all of the natural looks that uh, the natural products produce. Sure. And, and one thing too that we, you know, we're a very, uh, we're a very solutions oriented company. We have large, you know, uh, very large corporations that we work with, um, you know, some brands that, you know, everyone recognizes, Disney World and places like that. Um, they work with us on their projects uh, in a very, in a very uh, custom sense. Mm -hmm. They will come to us and say, we want this color, this texture, and in-house, we produce all of our product, all that material is produced in our facility in Lake City, Florida. And so we have the capabilities to do things custom. Right. You know, so like you the see color something, you were telling me about. Yeah, like the samples I showed you today, some of, yeah. the, some of the really wild colors that are kind of what we call hyper-realistic. Yeah. Some of those things, you know, we have the capabilities of doing, you know, everything's done in-house. We don't outsource any of our nice. um, manufacturing. We right. do it all in-house. And so we have all the capabilities of pretty much creating anything you want related to thatch, yeah, cool. you know? So what you see in our catalog is not necessarily <clears throat> representing, you, might see, a, you, you might see a project, you might be in Orlando, Florida, and you might see a thatched roof that has some crazy colors on it and go, wow, that's really amazing. Um, we probably did that roof that, you, that, that you'd see because yeah. it's, if it's a wild and crazy color and it's done in thatch, yeah. we're probably the people that did it. And that's nice. just, we, we take a lot of pride in our abilities to do custom work. and so. You know, I just, you know, I think it's fun to show your, you know, your clients and your followers, yeah. Yeah. you know, what, you know, what you guys are doing with our thatch. And that's, exactly. that's exciting for us to see what you guys are taking our product and doing something that we haven't done yet. And that's a tiny home. Isn't that and cool? So we're, we're pretty excited about yeah. that. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, you can find, you can find us on social media and on, on the web. You can go to Enduri.com. That's E-N-D-U-R-E-E-D.com. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and uh, sell your sign. And you, you can, tell everybody. you can also follow us. You can follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook at Enduried Synthetic Thatch, and you can find us on Instagram at Enduried Thatch. And so you can just uh, search hashtag Enduried also, and and view lots of pictures of maybe projects that we've done that people have tagged us in. Uh, we take a lot of pride in that, and uh, yeah. you know we're hoping that you, you, Randy, tag us when you when you post pictures because it helps us, you know, connect the product to, sure. the, to the company. So No, I will. I've been looking at the, into this company for about two years. I built the yeah. Hobbit House and, you know, I'm always looking for different ways of doing things and I've always liked the thatch. I've always liked 
the, the portraits of the English cottages and that. So I, yeah. I Googled everything, yeah. like everybody does, and I found your alls, and it was synthetic, it was fireproof. Yeah. And uh, they have, I haven't purchased anything for two years, been calling for two <laughs> years, and you guys knew who I were every time, yeah. and you treated me like I was, you know, a big customer of yours. Always took care of me, always had, was polite, really, I, I admired that. And then when I did order it, um, they drop shipped it here, and no really, not what a couple weeks I think it was yeah. drop shipped, and then Nick offered to come because of you know what we're doing, and they never done a tiny house. And as soon as you came here, I couldn't understand like you said the thickness of the of the eaves, sure, and how I wanted it to run. And then and, and the girls in the office were just trying to tell me too, but you can't know until you see this. And I think this video is so awesome because, as you see, once we see what you're doing, it's easy concept. Yeah, that so was, that's a lot of thing we run into too. A lot of times is people see the con, you know, they see a picture of it, for instance. Yeah. They might, they might find us on the, on, the, on the web or on a Facebook and they'll see a picture of it. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously if you're an installer or a contractor, um, it looks a little intimidating when you first look at it. But as, you're, as your craftsman saw today, you know, with a, just a, you know, we have some videos online you can watch too, but it was a simple, you know, hands, you know, working with them after, you know, an hour, they have oh, it. Oh, they, they love it. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, I was always wondering, does the thatch, I kept asking the girls, does the thatch keep the house from leaking? Yeah. You know, and they said yes, yes, no, but I didn't understand. Yeah. Well, this is what product? This is awesome. That is a this is a product that we have specified, and it is um, it is actually um, warranted to work with our system. It's one of the only underlayments um, that you can use others and with with no trouble. But this is the uh, Suprema brand underlayment, and there's a, there's a special um, type that we use. Um, that's just a you know it's, it's a readily available product but this um, is meant to work with our system and this is actually this is actually the, the waterproof portion of the roof oh that's you what know, I was going to tell everybody yeah right here. people always assume that yeah. the thatch is but if you look at the section of the roof over here that it has not right. been thatched yet uh, that's the waterproof the waterproof exactly. portion of the roof yeah um, and the nails do penetrate through that but you know we've been using this product for almost 20 years now never had an issue with right. it and that's and why <coughs> Suprema stands behind us um, with us your penetrating technique it. and how you do Correct. it. Correct. So right. they've, they've acknowledged our technique and they've, they've, they've seen the success with it and they've partnered with us on the warranty. Nice. So we actually Good have you know, documentation from them with the warranty because that's, that's a one question a lot of customers get. Super especially sticky. With, especially with the architects. They, you know, they see we specify that and they want to know, okay, well, you know, we're penetrating with a nail with your system. They yeah. want confidence that the, the oh, whole system is, is meant to work together and Supreme I mean, is, you know, is look at partnered this. with us on that. Yes. Just look at this stuff. You can't, I can't tear it like a shingle. <laughs> and I'm super strong. You I know, know you are. Look oh, that. God. Yeah. Look at those guns. <laughs> this is awesome. It's super sticky. Yeah, if it sticks to itself, you're, you're, kind, look at that. you're kind of dumb. Yeah. That is, now that's, so you put that on her, you put this on, and we're good to go. As you can see, the Eve right there is sticking straight out, you know? And then when we wrap the other stuff like he was doing, now we'll we'll put that reed underneath there and go back towards the correct the just house. Like, won't just we? like you have here um, in the in the gable. Yeah. The same concept all the way around. Yep. I got you. But it'll come out this way this time. Correct. The yeah. direct, it'll, it'll run in the direction of the roof plane. Yes. Now when we got up on the top. We had to have the reed. You can actually take this right here, and I'm just going to show what I learned today. <laughs> is that if it's straight and you got a roof line that goes that. He took a torch and just heated it a little bit. Yeah, heat gun works a little better, but we had yeah. a torch and yep, yep. yeah. <laughs> and, and and he just heated that up and it just fell right down and it contoured with the roof line. Yeah, it's just super simple, um, an amazing product. I'd say I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but when I look at this, I'm like, wow, that really looks like it'll last forever. And that well, we, we warranty for 20 years. We warranty for 20 years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, our oldest project is down in the Caribbean. Um, we have it, uh, it's going on 18 years now. Well, well, 17 years and some change that yeah. we've had it up there. And uh, we just recently sent some samples back off of a project to the lab to get tested, you know, to kind of, you know, see where we're at with it. And it's performing, right. it's performing amazingly well. Um, you know, we don't, so it's know, still tw there. 20 it's year warranty, 20, yeah, 20 year warranty, but uh, ex ex actual life expectancy. I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we're, Pushing 30 years in some locations, and obviously it depends on where you're, geo, you know, geologically located. If you're sure. ge geographically, if you're, you know, in New Jersey in the snow, or if yeah. you're in the Caribbean, you, your UV situation is different. Yeah. But like I said, um, going on uh, 18 years now in the Caribbean, excellent performance.
And oh. that's, that's, you know, because people can, people can guarantee stuff based on scientific information. They'll, they'll test it with, a, with um, you know, what they call accelerated weathering and right. all that. But real world results is really what matters. Oh, yeah. And your, so. your business, your company, is what, 20 years old? Yeah, the, the product was developed in, uh, you know, in the, the late 90s. Yeah. In the late 90s. And, um, you know, so it's, uh, you know, we That's actually, nice. you know, the same design that we started with, we're still using today. It was, you know, it's, it's a win concept. That's great. American company, everything they get from is American. And um, what, snow load, four foot of snow? Um, if, you know, suckers. the snow load, for, as far as our thatch is concerned, there's really no, we haven't found any, like, limitations on it. It's really okay. what your what your roof deck is engineered for. Exactly. So we haven't seen any situations Snow's where Snow's not gonna pull it off or no 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 so we haven't found any situations where there's a roof deck that's engineered past our thatch. Our thatch is always way over what any roof deck is designed for. So gotcha. you know we're, we're, you know obviously there's always the crazy extremes that we haven't yeah. we've, we've yet to mount it at the North Pole. So I can't say that you know you put 25 feet of ice on it for, for 20 years that yeah, exactly. something might you know weird might happen to right, it but right. uh, but for all you know for your typical markets that we sell into yeah it's way above any yeah. snow load issues wow. at all so anybody get any questions for us have you been answering them you've been answering them oh great oh yeah. cool deal you know i was thinking about i'm going to get up on this ladder and get a closer shot of that valley right there and how that looks and so they can see that oh say hi to kiwi by the way Hey, Keith, I just got a text from him and tell him I didn't have time to text him back. He texted me as soon as we were coming on. Hey, Kiwi. Kiwi, this would look good in New Zealand. That's what he said. Yep. <laughs> great. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to show it. I had one customer say, show it close up so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to show you close up. Is it not cool? Hey, Emma. Isn't that beautiful? And then that's our stucco with our straw stuck inside there. Right. So if we wanted to replicate an English cottage, and I think it's looking exactly like it. There you go. On the eve. That what now? No. Oh, yeah, let's get over here and do the soccer. You get away from that light so we can see it underneath it. Now, go on, go on the side over here, that's where it's finished. We got really no. soft here. Thanks to John, John Finstrom. He's the owner of Riverbend uh, Tiny Home Community over there in Lake Toxaway. And uh, he was the sponsor of this home. We appreciate him wanting us to build this home. He, he believed enough in us that he didn't even say, he, I, t I explained to him verbally what I wanted to do. And he said, let's go, let's go do it. You know? So I just sent him a picture and he's loving it. He'll be, we'll be delivering this probably Sunday, Monday. Oh wow. This weekend. It'll be That's on the road. Yeah, heading up to North Carolina, you know. Amazing. So yeah, we're excited. We're excited to feature that you're featuring our thatch on it. I mean, it's uh, you know. Yep. I hope uh, you know, people are inspired with more um, whimsical and maybe you know Caribbean themes or oh, whatever. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, w I know we'll do one from Hawaii. Yeah. So we're going to do something with the thatch in that that area. Mm -hmm. His place is such in the mountains and the rhododendrons, and it looks so whimsical. I think with the waterfalls and the creek. Yeah. We want to fill that place full of these tiny homes wow. with the thatch on it Very so we can get everyone. Now, the reason that we can do this is because our prices that we sell here are so low compared to the, everybody in the United States. Now, I wanted to show this is not, as you said, a cheap product. This yeah. is a high-end product mm -hmm. we put on here. But because our prices are low, we're able to put high-end products on here for folks to still enjoy this. Because this is like a product you would have... Oh my God, I know, but what I see on the internet, mm -hmm. homes are going for a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This is considered a major high end home. It's ten foot wide, it's twenty four foot long. Normally they're only eight foot wide, twenty four foot long, and they'll they'll be hundred and thirty thousand. 
This is under 70 here, wow. the whole house, wow. you know? And with that, such a, a unique roof line. So we're excited. I think, I'm hoping that we'll do a lot of these and I just like it. I like, it fits my my brain, yeah. what I like to think. And, and uh, your company, I can't, can't express enough of y'all coming here, yeah. your, your clientele, go to Enderreed in uh, Lake City, Florida, yeah. and I, they will take care of you. And uh, thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yeah. you, Randy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anybody, more questions? Uh, somebody asked if we'll have a, any kind of gutters. 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 We won't have any gutters. No, we, we, you know, we've done a lot of projects, especially in the Caribbean, because they like to collect the rain. Yeah, how do you work that? So we do a, um, a built-in gutter that, you know, is maybe located up the roof deck just a little bit well, from the eave, and we can, we can actually thatch over the, the water pickup point, and we'll, you know, thin the thatch out just a little bit in those locations, but okay. it'll still capture the water. So we've done a lot. We got a lot of experience working down in the Caribbean with those scenarios where they still want to have yeah. the traditional, you know, island eve we call it, where yeah. you're not having a, a traditional gutter that kind of, you know, it kind of takes away from the, the tropical theme. So yeah, we've done a lot of that. So we can put gutters and hidden gutters and catch them. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's a great question because that because we all of our homes now are going to be full catchment systems off yeah. grid, and all oh, that would be neat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can we can show you some. We have some drawing examples that. Maybe not are quite geared for tiny homes because of the scale of you know where they're located, but yeah. you know you can get the, you can appreciate the concept. You know I can show you some drawings. You yeah, can appreciate the concept. So yeah, and I always share all my ideas. I, you know I didn't keep you guys hidden. Yeah. So now hopefully tiny bunch of tiny guys will start calling you and you'll yeah, be doing yeah, it. Be, I won't be the only guy doing it. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could be the only guy doing it. Yeah. You know, but um, I appreciate you guys' business and. Yeah. and they do multi-million dollar commercial jobs and for them to come out and do a do a small job like this um that shows you about their company and they fit our mind frame of how we treat people and how we see business you yeah, know we, everybody's we do projects, a customer we do projects from someone's backyard uh, tiki bar to you know a multi you know we, we worked on a project in hong kong china with a 400 million dollar you know total project but a right. 400 million dollar hotel so we would do everything from a backyard tiki hut to a you know wow multi-hundred million dollar hotel yeah. chain, so yeah. yeah. And that's how we are. We'll, yeah. we'll build anything for anybody, change it around. And um, so it's a win-win. What do you think, guys? It's beautiful. It looks awesome. Yeah, everybody's excited here. Everybody's been, everybody's been asking me, it's like grass rough, grass rough. I have so many questions, even the guys, like scratching their head. And then I put the stucco, and I just, Bryce and I, my son, we just rammed some straw in there. Yeah. And nobody, I said, what do you think? And everybody said, well, <laughs> they didn't want to hurt your feelings. They didn't say nothing. I'm like, all right. So I had to just hold it in, you know, and I thought, yeah. and now it just looks, I think, mean, cool. Yeah. It looks amazing. Well, I, I appreciate your your, 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 uh, your artistic boldness. You'll just do yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. A lot of people like, want to know everybody's opinions, and they just end up going back to the back to just the, the normal because they got too many opinions from people. I like that you're willing to just... Where'd you sleep last night? You slept in the bunk room. Yeah, you know? so yeah, this is crazy. So I get a call from Randy, you know, typically when I'm on location, I'm just, you know, hitting up a hotel and he says, you're going to stay in a hotel, you're going to stay at our bunkhouse. And I was like, I'm staying at the bunkhouse. That's right. I showed up at this place and I thought I was, I arrived in Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. zombies coming out. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, and I mean, so you think about bold, I mean, my gosh, who would throw this stuff up and think people would come and stay with us and We've yeah. had just a marvelous time with everybody that's come here. Yeah. And who would ever think, you know, you, everybody thinks, well, you've got to do everything just perfect before you can start anything. Sure. There's no way. I can't afford it, you know. Yeah. And to do this and to have so many people join in to what our dream is, is just awesome. Yeah. You know, Very so cool. you guys are part of our, a part of our dream, a part of our progress of going yeah. forward. We're, yeah. We're, we're happy to be a part of it. Any questions, anything? We're good. Hey, everybody, have a good night. Yeah. We'll see you later. We'll probably come Thanks. on maybe tomorrow night and yeah. show it a, a complete product. Yeah, I think you guys should have it wrapped up pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. We got wood floors going in tomorrow. We got a rafters inside. A lot of interior decorating going to be done. By Thursday evening, it'll be decorated and ready to show. Because Friday morning, we got a local county that's bringing all their government officials here. From the county mayor, the city mayor, the planning commission, the zoning board, the building inspectors, fire marshals. We'll all be here to look at this here. Wow. And every home we have, you know. Nice. So we're I'm I'm an open book. Say come on and 
Well, I'll be, I'll be following it on, I'll be following this house and obviously especially on, on social media. To yeah. See when it's all done. Yeah, so Friday morning, if they'll allow me to film them, the, you know, because every time you put them on camera, everybody, nobody will talk. <laughs> so I probably should film them so he won't talk, you know. All right. So. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll bring you back tomorrow periodically throughout the day. All right. Good deal.